Today's Tuesday, it's the 26th of March 2024 and uh, we're on our little break over to the east coast of the island and today we've come to Calat Mayor, which you might think is a bit noisy. Uh, we've got a tractor right behind us and uh, for a very good reason, he's sorting out the beach. There he is, going over the beach, breaking it all up and uh, removing all the bits and things that were not supposed to be there. The sea's quite rough, we've actually so rough we've got some surfers out there today. Uh, we've seen some quite rough seas while we've been here. Uh, it's been very windy and uh, well, a little bit unsettled. We haven't actually had the rain that we've been promised. Just over there, if we carried on going around there, that takes us to Calabana, which we were we were there yesterday, uh, but we're going to actually have a little walk through Cala Minor. Well, not only are they cleaning up the beach, but uh, the parasols and the sunbeds are starting to appear. And you'll notice that these uh, parasols have got lockers on them, little safes where you can put your valuables, put your, uh, your watch or your phone uh, while you go for a dip in the sea and uh, someone suggested that they may be appearing in Parmanova and Magaluf this year so I'll certainly be looking at it for those. We're going to walk along the front, it's a nice flat promenade, it's similar in many ways really to what we're used to in Parmanova. Um, there's no road here though as such uh, along the promenade, it's all pedestrianised uh, with lots of bars Lots of places look as though they're open too, so it's looking a little bit uh, busier. And we've just seen somebody get out of the sea. Uh, so besides the surfers swimming, uh, doing their surfing thing, there's been somebody actually in the sea, and I think some, somewhere down below we just saw that as well. Also, seeing some of these new lifeguard station so these are not the ones that they've got in Parma actually I think I much prefer these they look much less uh, obtrusive more on that as we get a bit closer you can see all the tables and chairs are out everything really starting to look like the season's begun it's not quite Easter yet uh, we've got a few more days left uh, Monday Thursday coming up this Thursday and uh, I think that's what they're aiming for. As we drove through, still a lot of work going on in different places. So uh, we're not quite there yet. And uh, Sakoma, where, we, where we've been staying, has got a lot of work going on. They're not going to be ready for Easter. Um, I think it's going to be more like May before they're ready. I think this seems to be quite a, a lot to do. Well, the beach is looking good. Miles is. Hollywood. Hollywood Diner. Driving through trying to find uh, somewhere to park because it wasn't quite so easy so even at this time of the year, end of March, uh, lots of people here. And just looking along the beach, it's not crowded by any means, but there's actually a lot of people on the beach where in Sakoma there was virtually nobody on the beach. The uh, headland that goes out there, that's where we went to the castle. In fact, you can see the castle from here. And uh, it just indicates really how much more we could have walked, except I was totally um, knackered. <laughs> I don't think I could have walked much it further. Walk, it was quite a long walk, and uh, it was, the, the problem is, you, when you walk there, you've got to walk back. Uh, the walk back was actually quite a lot easier because it was not uphill; it was downhill. So here's um, one of these lifeguard stations. And uh, I quite like that. I have had a look on the internet to see what they're like in uh, America, or at least in uh, Los Angeles, that sort of area. 
and yes this is a sort of a similar sort of thing to the structures that they Baywatch. have that sort of thing yes dear Baywatch sort of similar to those and uh, I quite like that I mean it looks nice doesn't it it looks wooden yeah I think that's quite an impressive little station and uh, I think that there's a door at the back and then you've got windows all on the sides uh, I think that'll be great for the uh, lifeguards to keep an eye on what's going keeping everybody safe on the beach which is what they're there to do the ones in Palmer and on the player de Palma, it's like bright yellow boxes plonked on top of some stilts. They don't look so good. I'm not uh, not seen one in real life yet, but um, I'll get one on film at some point. She's just pointing out that there's just toilets there. Hotel there is the CM on the CM. There's several of those in this area. CM Playa del Morro. We stayed at a Hip Hotels this year, and uh, several of those in this area. Lots to choose from. The big question was: Should we have stayed half board, or should we actually look for somewhere self-catering? Um, I'm supposed to be on a diet, mate, no? And uh, hotel food, well, I like it too much. Next time. So next time I might uh, investigate the possibilities of self-catering. It's buffets, isn't it? The problem is having a buffet and all that food laid out in front of you and thinking, oh, I like that, oh, I like that. You can't resist, can you? No, I know. <laughs> well, we're not going to walk all the way to the end of this beach because it's quite a long walk. Um, so, let's go one more block and then uh, we'll go and have a look to see what shops are open. Sacoma, <laughs> while we were there, didn't have any shops open, pretty much. It was all closed up. Uh, they've got so many roadworks in the shopping street, it wouldn't have been worth them opening. Little park for the children there. The water feature with no water in it yet. What's going to happen there? Parts of the mainland, uh, there's a bit of an uproar actually because uh, they've had such a drought that uh, the authorities have told people with swimming pools you can't fill them up. <laughs> you can imagine what that's going to be like in the summer if you can't have a, a dip in your swimming pool. You might see in the distance there some cranes just uh, work going on here in Calamayor as in many other places. Just, we'll go up that next one there. It's all right there. And he's just dying to look at the shops. <laughs> Café Lamar. 250 for a beer. You can't go wrong there, can you? 250? Not sure how big the beer is, but 250. And a fantastic view out to the sea. Watch those waves rolling in. Watch out for the electric scooters. Some of them seem to go at incredible speeds. I saw a couple on the actually on the road in Palmanova and they were going so fast. If they'd hit a bump or a, a grid or something in the road, they would have had a real nasty accident. just uh, come to another of these lifeguard stations and next to it you can see there's um, a decked area with some shade and uh, these are popping up all over Mallorca on the beaches these to help uh, people who are 
and not so mobile and if they've got wheelchairs they can wheel them onto those and uh, I'm guessing that uh, as the season progresses they'll be putting um, floats and aids to get people into the sea and just beyond that I can start to see some sunbeds um, <laughs> there's a little pile of them and uh, people are just helping themselves and putting them out so all of this is going to be coming to live over this next few days temperature about 18 to 20 degrees today it's um, it's cloudy um, but thankfully it's not raining no hat or parasol or umbrella no and i had to take my jumper off i was so warm so i'm going to walk up here and we're going to go to the shopping street which is parallel uh, to the promenade it's the bars that are open and hotels that are open as well one thing they do very well here in Mallorca is rubbish collection um, in the towns and around the uh, villages they collect collect your drink yeah look at that it's been telling you you can't find parking right by the beach we've got parking oh well we didn't come down this road did we <laughs> do check if you you're in a car and uh, you want to park there's uh, no lines there's yellow lines there's blue lines I've actually seen some red lines and I'm not sure what they are so uh, just be careful where you park make sure you're following the restrictions or you'll find the the fines will follow you unfortunately you can get out of them that easily the designer clothes so we were last staying in Calama Yore uh, 18 months ago and at that time the main shopping street was largely being dug up and so uh, it wasn't really place to walk up and down well that's all done now and uh, shopping street I think is going to be looking quite smart it's, it's pedestrianised yeah so uh, it goes on down there but uh, we're not going in that direction we're going to go in this direction. That's the objet d'art that Anita was mentioning. Just walk around. It's one of these three dimensional things that sort of take shape as you look at it. of shops for you to have a look at we came hmm, a couple of years two or three years ago I think this is actually where we had breakfast was it looks familiar I did point out when we reached the hotel which was one of the CM hotels and that's the Playa del Moro just uh, as we were walking past and people were going into one of the hotels I was thinking uh, if we'd have come where would we park the car and uh, that's an issue for us I suppose I guess if you're on a have tour you come in your coach you get back on the coach but for us we have a car and uh, well 
Doesn't look as though parking would be very easy uh, if we were this close to the beach in Calanillo. It's something, yeah, something definitely for us to think about. We met a young lady in the hotel and uh, she booked a last minute holiday um, to get to Sacoma from the airport, cost her over 90 euros by taxi. And uh, she then had a look to see if there was a, a cheaper way of getting back to the airport rather than paying another 90 euros. And uh, she then uh, discovered that she could uh, get the local bus and that would take her directly to the airport. This has nipped into a shop, so I've lost her for a moment. There she is, all wrapped up as though it's middle of winter. <laughs> Actually, this is where we had breakfast. I recognise it now, next door to the place I just said. And uh, it was a very nice breakfast, I think. We're thinking back, something like Eggs Benedict or something. I think. Really, really nice spot to have breakfast. It wasn't when we were on holiday here, was it? No, no, we just went, we, we came for a, a day trip and we drove over and started off early, so uh, we came here for breakfast. I'm just going to carry on our little walk along the promenade and here in the shopping street. I think they've done quite a nice job of setting this up. I think this is look as though what they're trying to do in other places as well, have more pedestrianised places so that people can safely walk in a pleasant environment while looking at the shops. There's still some places that have uh, got to open yet. That will all come. La Serena Cafeteria Lots of the signs we've noticed that people speak German There is some places, you know, shade is going to be important in the, in the height of the summer. You need some shade and here they've got uh, a little bit of shade, not a lot of shade, but uh, a little bit. And um, I think that's also going to provide lighting. Uh, it looks to me as though they've got solar panels on the top, so that's very clever use of the space. The solar panels serve the double purpose of providing the shade and then providing the energy to light up the light. All the way along here you've got the little roads that run down to the sea. England versus Belgium. Let's try and watch that. We're getting all excited about the uh, cup, Copa del Rey, King's Cup. We're going to investigate what Mallorca looks like now, what Parma looks like now, the decorations. <laughs> There's been calls by the local uh, supporters clubs that every, every balcony should be flying a Mallorca flag, a Real Mallorca flag, to support the team, show that the teams that's behind them. And uh, well, what looked like a, a really difficult project to get people to the um, football matches uh, seems to have been pulled off largely. I think uh, the last numbers were 17,000 uh, tickets have been sold, so that's uh, 
getting close to the 20,000, just over 20,000, which are um, available to Mallorca. The big issue, of course, is getting there, and uh, that um, seems to be largely overcome as well. Um, the charter companies, some of them have had to pull out because uh, they just can't compete with the, uh, the regular flights. So the local government uh, passed... Uh, it wasn't a law, so it wasn't binding uh, in their parliament that 75% discount should be applied to charter flights. However, the central government, or pockets, I suppose, the money ends up coming from, at least the taxpayers' money comes from, uh, and well, they said, no, you can't do that. <laughs> and so uh, charter flights just had to charge their flight money to the, the local um, the inter-island regular flights, they could pretty much charge what they want and there's stories in the paper of people, of companies, charter, not charter companies, regular flight companies, charging a thousand euros, which sounds absolutely crazy, but if you get 75% discount then it's only 250 euros. And uh, all the charter companies, it's still very expensive, but the charter companies couldn't cope, couldn't uh, compete with that and uh, the charter companies were trying to charge four or five hundred euros doesn't compete with a thousand euros tickets being discounted by 75 percent big discounts being offered 50 percent discount <laughs> So, this big tapas restaurant. I know that uh, Anita and I love our tapas. We had some lovely tapas in Calabona. Went to Janet and John's there. Never been before. And uh, they do like a variety of tapas. And it was a reasonable price and really good quality food. Uh, Lovely location as well. Beautiful location overlooking the harbour. And uh, the, the welcome we got was just outstanding. Really, really good. From so, Lorne. From Lorne. He works there. He's the son of the original owner. Ooh, there's one of our embroidery machines that I used to operate years ago. A little platter here. Surprising how many clothes shops, and I mean, not just any old cheap Chinese clothes shops, but you've got well known brands here. Yeah. You like a coffee before we leave? Sounds a good idea, yes. Yeah. We'll go there. Yeah. Well, we found a little spot for a coffee and uh, we can watch the world go by as it kind of happens. It's quite nice here. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Mm. I think she's just gone up the road to post a birthday card. The uh, post boxes here are yellow. Well, we're going to be heading off now. It's just coming up to midday and uh, 21 degrees here in Calamayor. It's, uh, it's a bit dull, but it's, uh, it's not too bad. It's quite pleasant and uh, I'm quite happy I didn't actually wear the jumper. Though I need to, well, you can see, all togged up. Thanks very much for watching and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.